This is crazy too. I like dates. I like to remember dates and I really like to take trips down memory lane. So three years ago, right now, it was a Sunday, March 22nd. All of mm. us in the world really were figuring out what life would look like with the coronavirus circulating. At that time, we didn't even call it COVID or COVID-19. For those of us here at Channel 4, we were getting ready to broadcast newscast and great day for the very first time with about 75% of our crews working from home. Mm. Since 2020, a lot of things have changed. Some Americans, though, are sounding off on Reddit about what they miss most about pre-pandemic days. So guys, if you can, let's go back to even before March of 2020. Think back to maybe October of 2019, truly when the world was still normal. Here are a few things that people really miss from that time. Good restaurants. Think of all the restaurants that have closed, maybe during COVID or then the fallout from COVID, not being able to find enough employees, again, fallout from COVID, mm. and just restaurants that never reopened. You probably have a few in your neighborhood or town. On the topic of restaurants, I'm in this camp. I miss physical menus. You go to so many places now and there's just a QR code that you're mm -hmm. supposed to scan on yep. your phone and then you spend half of the, that time where you're supposed to be enjoying right. whoever you're with, maybe your cocktail with, by scrolling through your phone mm -hmm. looking at the menu. They want you to pay that way too many yeah. times. Yeah, though. they yeah. do. If a business did stay open, there's a good chance their hours changed. A lot of people miss places staying open late or opening early. And I think a lot of kids miss snow days. Those have still mm. happened a few times, but the pandemic brought about virtual learning, thus really stopping that critical need to call off school entirely. And finally, carefree relationships. Now, when I first read that, I thought, okay, is this like hookup culture and people nervous about getting sick from each other? But actually, people online say they're really struggling to connect with strangers these days, just in general, that we got so used to being isolated and almost standoffish that in general, we're more distant with each other. I could see that maybe. I mean, you spent two two solid years maybe two years and some change trying to keep your space mm -hmm. do you find yourself fist bumping still more than you probably would if it hadn't been for that definitely more than i did before the pandemic i don't yeah. and i definitely do and i don't know why i don't know if it's because i want to do it or i don't want to put somebody on the spot by putting my hand yeah. out mm -hmm. i think it's more that i think it's more you don't want to take anything for granted and force anybody to do something they're not comfortable with, so it's easier just to put the fist out. Mm -hmm. And of course, every time I do that, the other person comes back and says, like, oh, <laughs> of course and you're like, yeah. Uh, yeah. And you're like, oh, you don't want to touch me. I get it. What are we sure. doing okay. here? Right. That does bring us to our Facebook question sponsored by the Happy Roof Company. What do you miss the most about pre-pandemic days? Mm. Head on over to our Facebook page and share your answers with us. I think my youth. What I miss. I was younger then. We Not all that were. much, but a little bit. And Should I'll we... take at this point, you start, you know, well, yeah. three years is three years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs>